But now to the end of an era in tennis. Serena Williams has announced that she will retire after playing this month's US Open. The 40-year-old won the last of her 23 slams at the 2017 Australian Open when she was already pregnant with her daughter Olympia. However, she's failed to add a 24th major, which would take her, le her level with uh, Margaret Court's all-time record. And today she confirmed her final attempt will come at New York's Flushing. Meadows, a tournament she has won six times. Well, for more on this, uh, we have Ernest Osobwe, sports consultant and administrator here in the studio. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, yeah, thank you so much big me. news here. I mean, what's your reaction to Serena retiring? I mean, is it a big surprise that she's hanging up her racket? No, it, it couldn't have been a surprise. Mm. Uh, knowing that she's 40, she will be 41 by the 26th of next month. So when you look at the trajectory of the age of tennis players over the years in retirement, they retire at the age of 28, 30, 32. But here is Serena still playing at 40. Mm. So definitely those in tennis, while we're not expect, we don't want it, uh, but it's there. You know that somewhere, somehow along the line, Serena was definitely going to drop the racket. Mm. But coming in like this, Yes, there's a little surprise there. Yeah, and a little disappointment. Well, major disappointment, actually, um, I, I would say, generally. And, and do you think she has any chance of winning that elusive 24th major title in New York? Uh, Charles, I'd like to deviate from that. When you take Serena's record as a tennis player and she's retiring, mm. and you're looking at 24 Grand Slams and saying she has 23, it's like you're undercutting the achievements Serena has made in the world of tennis. That's a good point. Uh -huh. so, so the, 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 I don't know what the WTA and the ATP are doing. When, when you concentrate on talking about the singles titles and singles championships, you're making the doubles players to feel as if they're not tennis players. Serena has 14 Grand Slam titles in doubles, and she has one in mixed doubles. Mm. And if you add that 15 to the 23 she has, you're talking about 38 Grand Slam titles for her, four Olympic gold medals three in the doubles and one in singles. So look, you should be looking at the entirety of Serena's career when she's retiring, not just focusing on the fact that Margaret Court has 24, mm. Serena has 23, and she has not met up with that. So if you're a tennis player or a tennis lover or a follower, you're not looking at Serena per se with 23 Grand Slam titles, you're looking at 38 and all that uh, uh, in Russia has made in mm. tennis and outside of the court as well. Well, that's a very good point. And based on that, uh, can she be said to be the greatest tennis player of all time, male or female? See, uh, you, I mean, Charles, you should know, when you are a black person, this keen we talk about around the world and all of that, playing in a white person's sports in their country, the chances of those slight diminution of your diminution, rather, of your achievements is there. For me, there is no greater tennis player than Serena Williams. That is the truth. Well, I think black or white people recognize well, that. Don't yeah, you? yeah. You look, yeah. you have to force them to get that. Mm. You, you know, look, for a black person, you need to do four or five times what a white person needs to do for you to be recognized by them. So for them to acknowledge and accept with people like Billie Jean King, Martin Anavratilova, queuing up and bowing to Serena, you have to know that she must have done something very special. And I believe that I don't think for now there is any tennis player that is as great as Serena. So going forward, I don't think there's going to be anyone as great as her. Ernest, I want to thank you very much indeed for your analysis there. Ernest Subway is a sports consultant and administrator here in America.